Uh, they have nine Emmy nominations between them. I'm so jealous. It's amazing. They're oh, yeah. both blonde, they're both beautiful, and they appear on the same soap opera. But the similarities between them kind of end there, don't you think? I think so. Although they're on the same show, their characters are worlds apart. Oh, yeah. One plays the blackmailing, man-stealing yes. Gina Timmons. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. And the other is Funny the kind though. and gentle Eden Capwell, both on NBC's Santa Barbara. Let's take a look. Yeah, let's look at them. We know you. The Capwells always say that. You don't know me at all. Why did you crash the wedding? Mason invited me. I figured it was right next door, so why not? You know, we're going to find out sooner or later. Did Julia send you? Why don't you just admit it? Admit what? That I broke up Mason and Julia? Well, if you want to know the reason that happened, you don't have to look any further than them. I mean, look at Mason. He's a rogue, and Julia, well, she's an uptight little... Well, if I had my doubts, I don't now. I'm, I'm sure the two of you have a lot to talk about. <laughs> Please welcome Robin Madsen and Marcy Walker. You well, I, I guess I have to ask you this. Are, are you are you a wreck? I mean, you've been nominated before. Well, Both you see, no, wait. We were backstage. We were backstage, yeah. right? Yeah. And I'm presenting this year as, as well as Robin is presenting this year. And Which I'm is presenting. the double whammy. Yeah, because yeah, you're never you're you're presenting. Oh, you're super. It's a nightmare. Ah. But I'm presenting Best Supporting Actress. Oh, That's my category. No. So I'm here presenting. When I get the envelope, I'm going to go, oh, God, these things are so hard to open. You know? Ooh. It like lots of time. I'm not melting. shaking. I'm going. You do that, Marcy. I'll get you. I'll get you. I'll get you back. <laughs> That's fun, though. It's, it's nice that you're both together, though, because there is a, a lot of anxiety involved with That's this. That's the right? worst. When they're holding the envelope, you're sick. Oh, I've yeah. never been you in that position. You don't want to die. Be any place else. Yeah. But you're nominated. I'm for nominated for attitudes with... this year. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, now, what what you probably don't know is this this. This dame right here beat me at the Soap Opera Digest Awards for Best Comedy Actress. I was in the And I had the to not be there. And you weren't even there. <laughs> and I flew all the way in. Where well, was it's that? It's a very, in California, it's oh. a very tense thing. We all say, we all pretend it isn't, but it is. But it's Marcy and I it talk is. about it. It is. It's, it's a killer. Direct. Yeah, it is. Is it, wor is it the same kind of pressure like an Academy Award? I'm sure it must be. I've never been like nominated for an Academy yeah. Award. I don't yeah. know, but... But it's, Very it's one of those things where you scary. sit there and they, they say the nominees and you, you sit there and then they say the winner is. It's and kind you of public swear. humiliation in front <laughs> of all the peers. You swear you hear your name, but you know your body isn't standing up. Yeah. And, One person and so has you know a good job, and everybody else is miserable. I'm not standing. I'm not standing. It's, it's a very strange thing, and it's, it's really weird. Let's, let's talk for a minute about who you guys really are. Now, I, we go way back when you were just leaving All My Children. Mm -hmm. And you were a star in your own right on that show, and you left, and you went to California, and you became what you are on, on Santa Barbara, which is quite wonderful. You, I've watched you through the years successful. grow into this part, and it, you're just wonderful in it. Is it all that you thought it would be? Are you happy yeah. with where you are right now? Yeah, I, I, I reached a, a very um, difficult time when I was on All My Children because the parts I was being offered or auditioning for were parts very similar to the part I was playing when I was on my children. So I sort of wanted to break out of the mold and, and to show my peers, people like you, <laughs> that um, I could do something different. And Santa Barbara gave me that chance. And yeah. it was a new show. A lot of people thought I was a fool to go from something that was very stable to something that was very um, risky. But it's turned out to be one of the greatest things I've ever done. Yeah. So That's a yeah. great show. Now, Robin, you that. went from General Hospital, then you did a lot of nighttime, and you did movies. Mm -hmm. And now you have, too, gone back to daytime. It's a similar to kind of thing, though, as to what Marcy was talking about, about how this show really gave me an opportunity to do something much different than I'd done before. Yeah. I was a somewhat standardized soap opera villainess on General Hospital, and it was fun. But this character is, has a lot more range than that. I get to do a lot of comedy. Yeah, a know? lot. And uh, I've got this relationship with my son that's very sweet and vulnerable at times. She's more of a 
a lunatic or a sociopath, then she is really out and out nasty. Yeah. Yeah. She's just warped. She's, uh, <laughs> she's but fun. Yeah, she a lot of fun. fun. Yeah. And you do a, her justice it's too. It's a yeah. nice she group. Does. We have a lot of fun at this show. Marcy, it's, it's a contemporary show. It's more contemporary, so it's a lot more fun. You know, they write us a little bit inane, you know, and, and they get they come in some days and they want us to do what? We're dressed as aliens? Oh my God! You know? Yeah, true. It's, Let me. I wanted to ask Robin a question. You, I don't know if everybody knows, you've been in this business since you were a little girl. Since I was six, I started doing commercials. What's that like to have that kind of career? I mean, has the business changed for you? Do you still like it as much as you did? I like it a lot. Could, um, I like daytime a lot because every year when I I feel like I've learned something new. I'm mm -hmm. going in a, I'm a broader direction. I, I'm growing. There's nothing you can be perfect. Yeah. It's not something you can be perfect at. Marcy, who's one of the most professional, I mean, they throw page after page after page at her and she just bangs it out on top of the material. I mean, once in a great while, Marcy will blow it. I don't care who you are, how good of an actress you are, that you're going to make mistakes. It's something you can, like, conquer and be on top of it, and I've, I've mastered it. It's always something. But in terms of your personal yeah. life, you happen to be a wonderful cook. Oh, she's a great cook. Yeah, talk yeah. about that. I mean, we know oh, you're great on we the love sofa for her parties. But, I mean, oh, you are you. a fabulous cook. I mean, you love to garden, you plant. You hardly ever wear makeup at home, I hear. <laughs> And if you have interviewers, you want to take them back to your house. We do Just our think, research. We spent the weekend reading about <laughs> I it. I guess that helps me even more Softly. than your acting, because we know you're wonderful with that. But you have to be very nurturing to love food and love to grow things. I really like, I, I live with my boyfriend. We bought a house together, right. and he's out there. He's putting the little sweet pea seeds in the ground and watering them. And I was on location for three weeks. I did a TV movie. I came back. There was Huge. 12 bouquets yeah. of the sweet peas that he'd grown. So that's he's like that too. And we cook together and we garden together. That's we have a, a lot of fun that's in the house. Nice Eden, everybody knows that. Uh, Eden, do you believe I just called you that? <laughs> because Mar I watched her on Santa Barbara. You're, you're, you're oh my God, I've never done that. Anyway, Marcy, you have a new baby. Yeah. Uh, and I asked you before the show if, if you minded telling everybody uh, this baby, you, you're not married yeah. to the father of this baby. I, I know you were married before. You've been married twice. Yeah. Right? You it's scary about young, getting married though, again. It has to be baby. Yeah. Yeah. You afraid to get married again? It's not that I'm afraid to. It's that uh, when I got pregnant, it wasn't planned. Yeah. And I thought to myself, well, the greatest gift I can give him. God planned is, it. That's Taylor, and there everybody. He six Let's weeks get old. Old. <laughs> And um, <laughs> it wasn't planned, but I thought to myself, well, the greatest thing I can do is to make sure that he has two people who love each other who will stay there together for him. Yeah than give him the gift of a broken home. Yeah. So I figured I would wait. And, and a lot of people have been very judgmental about the fact that I wasn't married. Do people really and, care um, about that still? I think they still do. Yeah. You know, I surprised. came from a very conservative household. I really thought my parents would very much mind. And um, they didn't. But Don't we Because I had, made, I had made mistakes before, and, and they thought it was best that I did wait. Yeah. So I think people's views are changing. Yeah. You know, their attitudes toward, <laughs> towards, uh, <laughs> towards things are, are changing, and uh, they've opened up a little bit more. Well, how do you feel getting happier? How do you want people to see you? See me? Yeah. I, I, I would hope that they would know that I'm an honest person. I enjoy what I do, a that I'm a mom. good person. I'm a good mother. I really am. I'm very happy to be able to say that because... I wasn't sure I would be. I don't yeah. think you ever are. I don't think you ever You're very right. lucky you were able to have a yeah. baby. Robin, for all that you're lucky. happy, you're good, everything's well. I, God, I wish you both. I was thinking about Marcy's baby. But she how bought me a gift today for, for the two. baby, yeah. Oh, but when the first time she brought it down to the studio, I had so much fun all day. And you were so generous with it. It was nice. <laughs> she great. held it for like 30 wish minutes. Wish them luck, everybody. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Summer desserts that are culinary works of art. You won't want to miss it.